Welcome back to another InDesign tutorial. So what's the difference between paragraph styles and character styles? A paragraph style applies formatting to the entire paragraph. Both paragraph and characters can be formatted in the paragraph styles panel. However, character styles only apply to what is selected in the character panel. You can choose a character, a letter, a word, a pair, or whatever you want. There are a few ways to format your character and paragraph. Come to the top here, and we can see the A icon in the control panel. You can use this for character formatting, and right below that is the paragraph icon for the paragraph formatting. Or, we can also open up the panels for the paragraph and the characters. On the right hand side, you may see the paragraph and character styles panels, or the paragraph and character panels themselves. Or, go to the main menu, type, and you should see paragraph and character styles, or the paragraph and character. Scroll down to select this. Or, go to the main menu, window, workspace. Then choose a workspace. I use the pod because I know the paragraph and character panels will open. See, so many different ways to get to these formatting panels. Now let's say I go change the font or color or even make the text larger by selecting some text here. Now let's say I go to the paragraph formatting and add a paragraph root or change the alignment. At this point, I'm styling the text here and formatting it with paragraphs and characters. Okay, now let's head over to the paragraph style panel. Select your text or characters. If you notice, you should see this, basic paragraph plus. The plus sign is letting us know it's an override. What is an override? Once you create a style, may it be a paragraph or a character style, if you decide to change the original styling, you're essentially overriding the safe styling. You don't want that because you can't easily apply that same change style to other characters, words, or paragraphs unless you save this new style. Essentially, you want to save and capture all that style. So how do you do that? Well, at the bottom of the paragraph style, to the left of the trash can, is a plus icon in a box. This allows you to create a new style that we just created a few seconds ago. So click on this once. Double click paragraph style one, so that it opens a dialog box allowing you to rename this. Something like headings, running headers, table of contents, quotes, or something to that effect and click OK. If I select another paragraph and did not create a new style, I would have to try to remember what I created the style here. And now I can select the style here and apply that format to the entire paragraph. Pretty cool, huh? Let's say I want to create a new character style, emphasize in red or a page number. Go to the character panel and do something like change the font to be bold and change the color to red. If you notice, there aren't as many options as a paragraph panel. No alignment, no hyphenation, or drop caps. Once done, we can save the style in the character style by clicking to the left of the trash can, creating a new style. Click on this once, and it will automatically create a new style. Double click character style, and a character style dial box will open. Rename the character style, and if you need it, you can change something that you may not like. By doing this, we would have captured and saved the character style to the characters or words. Let's select another set of characters or words. The set of words will change just like that, and that's because we created a style. The beauty of creating and using paragraph and character styles simplify your workflow by allowing you to capture the format you do in InDesign. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please like it and subscribe to get more tips and tricks. Thanks for watching.